All right, so if you would please, sir, state your name, age, where you're from, and what you do. Name, age, where I'm from, what I do. Uh, Chase Carlisle, 31. Uh, I am from Hanover, New Hampshire, I guess. By way of? By way of Texas. Okay. Um, originally Texas. And I am a college minister. You're a minister up at Dartmouth? Mm-hmm. Okay, so now, why did you decide to come all the way down here to Anytime Fitness and start training? Yeah, originally I was looking for uh, a way to relieve a knee pain and rotator cuff. I had a rotator cuff injury a few years ago, and so it was, every time I was working out I was hurting, um, and I needed uh, someone to help me figure out how to work out in a way that uh, was more enjoyable than, than gruesome and painful. By the way, we just got done doing a shoulder and arm workout, and I'm shaking like crazy. <laughs> Holding this, this camera has never weighed so much. Um, so, how'd you hurt your knee? Uh, I had so I I grew really quickly growing up. I'm a pretty tall guy. And, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you like six five? Yeah, around six four, six five. Um, and it has just generally given me pain. Um, and then uh, through basketball and other sports, uh, it's just kind of been worn down. So. Okay. So now you decided to work with me and we started doing the corrective exercise training. Mm -hmm. Probably a little different than what you thought might happen. What did you think of that whole process? Yeah, it was um, much, it was a lot more focused on slow, deliberate movement than I originally thought. I thought I had some problems with my form. Uh, but it ended up being uh, core muscle groups and secondary muscle groups that um, were weak. So it was it was weird. It was different from the ways I've worked out before, but it's worked out really well. Okay. And so what did you think about like foam rolling and yeah, foam rolling, moving slow? Foam rolling has essentially given me back my knees, uh, which is weird because uh, I haven't worked out without pain in my knees for a very long time. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, foam rolling. Uh, kind of the stuff that uh, you've shown me has enabled me to loosen up muscles that have really pulled a lot of pain uh, out of my knees. So. Yeah, and you just mentioned just a little bit ago, you were talking about how you were sleeping on your shoulder and normally mm -hmm. it would have been like four days of pain. Yeah, in the past, if I slept wrong on my shoulder, so I injured, I landed wrong on this rotator cuff and uh, sh uh, sprained it or strained it a few years ago. And, um, and in the past, that was ultimate frisbee? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Caught the frisbee, that's what matters. <laughs> um, but in the past, uh, that would have meant, so I slept on my shoulder wrong last night before we did a shoulder exercise today. And in the past, that would have likely meant that I would pull something um, and I would have had four or five days of uh, pain in the middle of my back and, and in my shoulder. And uh, as of right now, I'm feeling pretty good. So. Cool. All right, so what would you say to somebody else who suffers from tallness and aches and pains? Yeah. Uh, if they're thinking about doing some training, what would you tell them? Yeah, uh, good news training is a, a good place to be. It's a good place to start. And uh, I think uh, just the knowledge of how the body works um, has increased my, uh, my ability to actually just kind of live and perform without pain. So. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for that plug and thanks for that good news. <laughs> All right.